What's happening, fellas? This is Senior, hanging out at the compound, having a little bonfire here tonight. Beautiful fall night. Just got back from the car and bike show in Greenwich. We got a message. Uh, it's Brody's birthday in Australia, Sydney, Australia. Happy birthday. Brody's an 11-year-old kid who uh, saved his money and worked hard and bought himself a Yamaha TTR 125. And I got some pictures of him detailing it on a Saturday night. And that's what the future is about, guys, getting our kids into this awesome sport of motorcycling. And I got another letter from uh, Logan. He's a high school student. And he asked me, how do you make it to where you are today? And I thought I'd try to answer that tonight sitting by the fire here. Logan asked, what advice would I give to him, a high school student? Life advice. I think I'll have a seat on the gator over here. So I'll try to answer those questions. Maybe do a little tour of the compound. This is a spillway that I built by myself about 10 years ago. This is one thing I didn't want any help on. I used my John Deere dozer and uh, built the spillway and it's full and, and uh, overflowing into the, the two lower ponds over here. The pond looks really good this year. Christy and I and the guys did a lot of work here getting it dialed in. Got a new fountain. Diving board on that side's good. Got the rock towers over here, the beach. stone table one New Year's Eve I asked the kids what was your favorite part about living here at the compound and they said well having the bonfires the fireside talks after riding bikes and swimming and whatever we did here that day something special about sitting around a fire just chatting so I thought I'd share this with you guys tonight the spillway is pretty cool I laid all these rocks in here with either my bobcat or a dozer and uh, built this little stone bridge that you can drive the gator over that's where the three-quarter mile natural train track is out there in the woods. We're going to get get in here before uh, winter comes and do some riding. I call this area over here the island. It's like a island of trees. And the track we rode the most is out in the field. The light towers are out there. I'm going to go take the ride on and turn the track lights on. second fire pit right here. When we'd have big parties here, we had three fire pits around the pond. And we'd light them all up and just simultaneously. I gotta show you this over here. This is a magnetic mechanics rig. These are the two diving boards and the uh, entry to the pond. Those are lifeguard towers right there. It's a beach. It's a big giant stone table that I built 20 years ago, now 15 years ago, whatever. That's a that's a third fire pit right there. I built these gently rolling hills over here out of the dirt from excavating by the pond. I don't think the video does justice to the topography here, but it's a lot of fun to ride over. This is the, um, like I said, the camera doesn't really pick up the topography, but it's, um, you can see they're gently rolling hills. It's, it's a lot of fun to ride on. The, uh, this, this is like the, uh, solar panel right here that we're, we're pretty much off the grid. We have geothermal heat and cooling, and we get all our electricity from this massive, panel right here just to give you an idea of how big it is you can hear it uh it's actually going into night mode this this thing's absolutely massive it doesn't look so big because from across the field 